there's the stream chat. Have that here. Okay. I'll, I'll send a message to Canton and Bryce. Yeah, we should tweet it. Tweet this shit out. Slash games in event, yeah. Yep. What's your regular Twitter? Yeah. At NibbinMS. Alright, we got Jason with us. What's up, Nathan? And the other one was just quick games in the back. Uh, the Twitter, Twitter account? Yeah. 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 yeah, I tried to keep it all the same name. Uh, we're streaming it from my, from my house, Nathan. We've got NBN here. Is it buffering at all on your end? I thought I'd start with uh, high quality and if people have issues with that, I can always lower it. Crispy quality way you stream from. <laughs> Let's see how it holds up when we actually start playing.
Loaded a bit, hopefully that helps. I don't know if I have to restart the stream or not. Uh, let us know next Unless I've got Ready? Go! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's up to you, press you, Josh. I got no mana, I cannot just sit there and body my friend while, <laughs> while reading the chat at the same time. It requires way too much concentration. <laughs> How does Peach fare? What a cancer fare like that? Uh, okay. I'll show you after this game. If you already follow this, please. Don't forget to donate. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe. Yeah, okay, so do you mean how does double jump land work or how does both of them work? I'll show you auto cancel fair. So, um, all, all moves, most moves, yeah, most aerials have auto cancel windows, where usually it's the, the very end or the beginning, um, where if you do the attack and land, there's just your regular four frames of landing. It's kind of like a flow cancel in a way. Um, very rarely, um, I don't think there's any moves that auto cancel before the after the attacks already come out at the start, is it? They're always at the end. Uh, after the hip-hop Yeah. Um, so like, Ness, Ness is down there and whilst neutral air, I think they start auto-canceling as soon as they finish the hip-hop. No, yeah. Ness's does, whilst there's like a couple of after. I know that Donkey Kong's up there auto cancel really early after the attack comes out. But anyway, so with Peach, if you do the forward air, the attack doesn't come out. And so you can combine it with the double jump cancel to get like a like a fake out and you can use the momentum to like swing yourself in different directions. Uh, how does both work? The double jump land is when Peach double jumps, she actually goes down for a moment. Um, before she goes up, uh, there's a few frames where she's actually going down, and because of that, if you double jump too quickly, um, you end up landing back on the ground again. And so you can take advantage of it on platforms where you jump through the platform and double jump, and because she dips down, she automatically does a no impact landing on the platform uh, instead. And on, on the ground, you can use it to um, get out of shield faster and also change directions while running. But it's mostly a pretty unused tech at the moment because it's difficult to use in game. I've tried to fix the sound issues. Um, I tried to turn the game sound Yeah, Bryce is in um, Boston. Oh, is he still in Boston? Game sound is you got the game audio was only going through the left speaker. Yeah, I thought I'd change the setting. You can't know. No. Um, hopefully that fixes the sound. Is it buffering for anyone at the moment? Because I also turned the video quality down a bit. After the first near hits, okay, so you can. Uh, are you sure? Because then that we wouldn't need I to auto cancel it. Yeah. I don't think there's a, they've got any move that that auto cancels while during the sound like attack. Yeah, um, that would be kind of like that's kind of like Smash Four, like auto cancel kind of stuff. Ready? Yep. Oh boy. Yeah. 
I pressed C stick left like three times. <laughs> I just stood there.
I also just called out about untitled podcast. Oh yeah. Really. I think you have to... Yeah. Wow, okay. Dude. Yeah, I learned that pretty quick. <sighs> yeah. I thought, I'm going to be entering this a lot. I'm guessing that is only... Uh, oh, it's buffering for Jason. Oh, I read a bit. What do you think? What do you think that the majority of Perth would get better at the game if they improve one thing? The sentence doesn't quite make sense. What do you think that the majority of Perth? I see you mean what? What? If everyone they... in Perth improved at just one thing, what would give the greatest uh, overall improvement to Perth? <laughs> We just played an eight and a half minutes. Oh no, because you were doing the best. Like, um, I don't know, maybe survival DI? I mean, if you want to blame, you can broaden it to just DI. Yeah, and I think, I think survival DI is the easiest DI to start with, but it doesn't really seem to be that. Uh, it's also the most mature. Yeah. Although I guess that's the problem with people having it. Like they've got a bad intuition on what to do to when they want to do survival DI. Survival DI would be more than combo DI at least. Uh, I think that's the situation depending on the person you're playing the punish game. Like if they got a shit punish game, then um, survival DI is probably better because they're not gonna kill you off that. Um, like you're not going to get that combo up that strong hit. But if you play some like spot. Yeah, I mean, and it's all relative to the people. You know, the, the people that you're trying to beat. Like, there's always someone in the game. People have their own battles of who, who they're trying to get their level. And uh, usually, uh, the, 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 if you're asking a question of how to do it,
What? Look at that, lame. It was like, got the edge first. Change the game music and oh, I think it. Oh, it's, it's these, isn't it? Microphone. Yeah. And yeah. So you just lower one. You can't drag it though. Like, oh, wait, you can. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. doing that little thing. So if you just put that one maybe halfway. Yeah. Tell us, tell us if that's better. We've we've changed the. I like that you start talking louder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'll try and try and. Act normal. Survival DI oh. is strange. There's not many resources on it. I think that I am doing it okay, but probably there there is a um uh, someone made a document in Smashboards um about um it, how to DI, uh, survival DI every single move in the game. Uh, survival DI is just perpendicular to the trajectory yeah. you're getting sent. No, the, 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 sec the secret is pretty much up and in. <laughs> if you start there and then expand. Yeah. Up and in for moves that send you a little key off the side, and uh, for moves that will kill you off the top, it's right or left, depending on which way they were attacked you from. And then there's some weird moves like Master Up Tilt, but no one's really prepared for which direction Master Up Tilt is actually going to send. Ready? Go! Not even Master Up Tilt. Usually plays out from after advantage. I think that'll be half the fun of that move. Is like getting to react to where they should set them. Thank <laughs> you. 
get the play, you may as well commit. <laughs> Call me out on my half fast smashing. I literally just tap one button over and over again. Because I'm just trying to give the illusion that I'm actually mashing you. That was my old strat. Yeah. And I thought, I can just press three more buttons at the same time. Which is an easy, easy tactic that we work on. It's probably low percent of the chat. Because sometimes you can get grabbed and you just. I think it's great. Yeah, that was a really good one. I think I changed my own. Suicide down. What did the comments say? Addicted to comments. <laughs> the attention. Mm. And it's quite a lot. And, um, I think. We'll... I really don't think you need VODs or stream to improve. I mean, Josh basically walked into the melee scene as number one without access to VODs previously. Mm. And even at the start. Like he's he still improved very uh very very quickly and was doing well when he um travelled to Zeal without really pay, having paid much attention to what the Eastern States are doing either. I think um I think VODs can definitely help but you have to go in and watch them with a purpose and, and not just like sit there and watching the VODs like a vegetable, you have to be thinking. If you're going to watch a VOD, go into the VOD watching, thinking about a certain thing that you want to really do. Like if you're watching a, a top player, come up with, like, you're struggling with a particular situation, like, oh, I seem to get stuck in the corner in shield versus Mark, what do I do? And then you watch, um, like, a Marta play, and then you watch how when he gets caught into that same situation, and then have a look at what options he does. That's a much better way of learning than just like just sitting and watching hours and hours of a Marta playing Peach and just hope that you just somehow absorb the information. I mean, that does help to some degree. Like, the viewer you is going to pick up um, some movement options that will just miraculously work and you can try them. But without the base understanding of why you're doing that, you, you kind of can't really progress beyond that. You have to really understand why the person is doing that. And so if you go in there thinking, Oh, I'm going to watch it for this reason, and you'll get a better understanding, and you'll be able to call upon that in an actual match much better. Ready? Because the platform's lower? Uh, for us. Or smash? Yeah. Cool. Uh, maybe because it would probably connect sooner with a higher part of uh, the shield. Mm. Oh, 
me off. <laughs> well, it's just like you think you've got to read on some. Uh, the song's tech pattern. You can't move. You don't use that often. And then you keep, it's the same as when you use DR Max Bullet Throw in different ways at the time. Like two I was going to say, at least with uh, Down Throw, it gives me like two seconds to react. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oven's free. Alright, cool. Thanks. Pizza soon. <laughs> it was such a like greeting. It was just Hoping so hard, but just because you got it, you do something really dumb. Alright, I'm gonna leave your line of threats. Cool. I'll tell them about the, the stream. Alright. The, the mission statement. <laughs> there is no mission statement, but. Yeah, pretty much everything you said, Jason, when I scroll back up about Perth improving. Yeah, you do need to play more. Does Is Thursday... Are you able to play on Thursday, Nathan? Yeah, like um, like DK Boy said, punish game is where you'll see the most results if you're looking to try and improve. If you clean up your edge guarding and your combos, then um, yeah, you'll you'll start to see better results. The rest kind of just comes along the way because neutral game is basically trying to find a punish option, a punish uh, situation. Yeah, she can Falcon. Um, Bryce knows where it's at. They're the e easiest to edge guard to, to start edge guarding with because they're very flow chart. Uh, Fox and Falco um, can be a bit tricky. Okay, is anyone else getting a buffering problem? <laughs> yeah, we, we should totally get, uh, uh, even if it's just a cardboard box that has the, the word VAT written on it, uh, that would be pretty good. I, I actually really like that idea, Bryce. Um, yeah, so basically this stream, we're going to be playing a lot of Melee, of course. Um, let's just go back here. Yeah. I'm just working out how he's got this set up. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, that was um, Niv. He came up with the name. Uh, he said it to me on Facebook the other night. He wanted to go with Brains in a Vat first and then went for Games in a Vat. I thought it was genius.
I'm back, to, I'm back to carry the stream. Actually, no. We get how many do we have? Nine. Yeah. So, um, six of you for you, three for me. <laughs> they um. So so. When we're playing these games, because we're trying to really choose games that neither of us have played before, it means that uh, we're going to have to encourage the chat to try and avoid spoiling it. Uh, any of the games at any point. Like we're gonna have to hide like the person who's not playing the game will be not gonna read the chat. Yeah. yeah. So they'll be able to read the messages when they're game playing. But while we're playing other games, don't be like, oh wait till you get to a certain height in the dark side, blah blah blah. Yeah. So that would be nice. I think stuff like that'll be fine because um I just it's basically our channel, and I find I find with most channels the the viewers are the viewers are rep basically representative of the streamer. So if we you know cultivate you know friendly viewers that participate with us instead of just being dicks. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Look at you, Jason. It's still loud. In game music, is still too loud. I'll try turning it down. Just keep us updated on the the sound. In uh, I don't think you can turn down in-game music and sound effects. You can only just change the ratio. Oh no! Oh, that's why it was only playing with one because it was in mono. Um, did, did that change? Oh, fucking hell! Why does that happen? I don't know. It changes whenever. You make an edit to something else in the stream, so you have to fix it. That, yeah, that definitely sounds like something that uh, has a solution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With something that wrong? Oh, okay, yeah, they're assuming that. Yeah, it's fixed. At least it didn't zoom in on us. <laughs> because I lost my double jump, so I had to just kind of take it all. I think the best thing I could have done is the iron harder. You might get hit by tip off, maybe. Yeah. I mean, without double jump, you're going to be eating the forward airs regardless. You want to reduce the damage. What? I was so angling my shoe. Okay. That was... That was... We, we got on that was annoying. Yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I angled my shield down deliberately, and I just got shield poked twice anyway. Oh, 
<laughs> but I miss everything. Yeah. Black red, bomb, red, 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 and you. I want to say plan. Four through me as well, but then I had the DI ready the whole time, and then right at the last second, I was like, oh, Why not? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Jason, don't spoil melee. I oh, know you can't do the combo because you spoiled it for me. Huh? I don't get it. We were saying, don't spoil the chat, can't spoil it for us. You know, he's gonna, he spoiled the future. Uh, oh, that sick combo that Quetz is gonna do soon. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. This is what a game, game for me. <laughs>
Yep. I'll mention it in the, um, I'll send you a Facebook message, Bryce, when we start Demon Souls. I could do the lamest thing right now. No. <laughs> I was playing to SD. Ah. Uh. <laughs> You're going to laugh when you see what my character looks like, Bryce.
one. It's been a rough one. Oh no, Rice is gone. Yeah, he said he'd be back. Oh, we still got Crystal and Jason. And some random viewers. Huh? We got six, but only two with. Oh, right. So would you tell him about the, the game plan for the oh the stream? No, I didn't say anything because it was Jason and Bryce that were in the chat and they already pretty much know. So. so how are we going to get Kenton in on this? Like what about his games or how is he doing? Yeah. Is he just gonna be like a observer or outside participant until he gets back from Australia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Trying to think of a game that I've played that Kesson hasn't played. I think you need to think outside the box. It could be a game that you've seen played or want to play. Or would like to watch someone else play, even if you haven't played it yourself. I think having played it yourself though helps a lot to watch someone else play because you're like, I wonder if they're gonna notice blah 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 or see that or do that. I, I know that's a big thing with Demon Souls because people are like waiting for you to die at certain points that they die. <laughs> <laughs> From what I've heard of Demon Souls so far, they're doing that like 99% of the time. Then. Just waiting for death. Yeah. So far, I've actually beaten most of the bosses on my first play. Oh, really? Which is kind of like... But it's my... It's my strategy. It's the way that my character is, and my strategy makes it very hard for me to... I, the way I die is usually from, like, um, something really unexpected. I'm very powerful at the same time. Is it mostly like trash mobs between bosses? There's no trash mobs in this game. Oh, so what's between bosses? Oh, like you, you pass the level. It's like a platforming game almost. But, like, some of the monsters inside the inside the places before you get to the boss are harder than the boss itself. Yeah, I was trying to mean, like, the trash mobs that, like, the... Oh, no, oh, yeah, I know what you mean, so not necessarily that they're trash, but they're just, like, anything Just bosses. not bosses. Mm. Um, yeah, it happens a lot when you're versing something new. Like you haven't come across a certain enemy before, and you kind of like, what does it do? Um, there was one particular enemy that um, I, because my my character has a 
a lot of armor and a big shield. And so any time I come across something new, I tend to just shield and wait for it to do something. And it was this one enemy that vomits all this, like, bile all over you, and it destroys your armor. Um, oh, yeah. And you're supposed to just avoid it, but I just took the hit, and all my, everything broke. All my armor broke, my, we my shield broke, my weapon broke. Um, and I got to destroy it off there. Because when you die, you lose all your souls. And you need souls to repair all your stuff. I have to, like... Yeah, I think I remember you talked about this at uh, Paco's thing. Yeah. yeah, I had to, like, find old weapons and stuff that I'd stashed away. And, like, get some souls that way first. Then repair. Actually, I think I passed the level with old uh, equipment. Where I got to a certain point and died again. But, oh, no, no. I got, I got back my souls and then I made a decision of whether or not I wanted to just go back and repair or continue on with the game and I decided that I didn't feel comfortable using all this like garbage armor and so I left the stage and then did the stage again I can imagine there's quite a few people who, who would have played the game but just absolutely hated it I don't know if there's many, like, high difficulty in games is, is pretty rare, um, in like, a PlayStation kind of game, so, mm, I, I imagine that I a guess lot of a lot of games rely on you, it, like, selecting high difficulty or making it difficult for yourself in some way. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I imagine there was a lot of people who got the game and then just, like, died instantly, constantly. Well, they would have got really far. They would have really got really far on like the first stage, and then died, and then and they realised that they keep coming back to the start of the level. How many hours are you in, uh, in Demon Souls? Mm -hmm. It's hard to say because I leave the game on a lot. So, sounds like Dota Syndrome. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I think I, um, I don't actually play it that much. I don't, I don't play it every day or anything like that. If It can, it can be quite draining sometimes to play the game because you put so much effort into passing the level. Um, even though the levels can be quite short, the pace that you go through the level is so slow. One thing you learn very quick is that trying to race through the level because you think you know everything about it. it bite you in the eyes. I even went back to like one of the early levels to um to uh get some item, and I was so confident to these enemies were weak. And they, most of them were. And then I just walked off an edge and died. Lost all my souls. I had to go back and get it. But when you die, you lose half your health until you feed, feed a boss. <laughs> Do you get it all back or just a set amount for beating certain bosses? You get it all back. Yeah, but once I realise that Amada's not actually in that tournament, they'll all leave. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Plus, um... I can't imagine too many people are interested in a, um, fox beating up a... level one fox beating up a human peach that's not playing. I don't know. Maybe that could be our niche. <laughs> <laughs> I tried streaming Bookworm Adventures the other day. Doing what? Streaming Bookworm Adventures. Mm hmm. I have a plan to like try and um Did I tell you about my speed run that I might attempt in that game? Oh yeah yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I tried streaming, but OBS wouldn't. Um, it just left a blank screen. Hmm. I had that problem with Zoomer as well, but it it was fixed when I did it in windowed mode, but not the same for. What about many of the I've only got the one. Finished the storyline of Zuma, by the way. Oh yeah, a far stretch from where you were on the the plane version. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, could you imagine going onto the plane and be like, "Do you mind if we just stream this? Because this is like a really hard version of Zuma. <laughs> you got this whole stream set up. You just go on a really long flight and try and pass level five of Zuma on Singapore Airlines. <laughs> that is. Excuse me, sir, you're gonna have to stop playing, we're about to land. No, <gasps> no! Not in the Could you imagine calling them up? Okay. Um, excuse me, um, can I speak to the department that's in charge of your in flight entertainment? <laughs> but, uh, okay. That's not a. That doesn't sound like it'd be a, a too weird start for a conversation. Yeah. But when you get to the specifics. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so there's this game. And already they're thinking, why are you wasting my time? <laughs> It's called Zuma. It's not an all of your in-flight entertainment. And, and the, the version seems different between them. That was another thing. But... Do you mind sending us a copy of it? <laughs> Actually, can you just send us an in-flight entertainment little... <laughs> just your own module. Well, yeah, yeah. So you can play it at home. Do you have an idea of what you want to give Bryce for his first game? Hmm. I don't know if Ken, um, Bryce has played, if he's played pretty much all the same stuff as Kenton though. No, he hasn't. I know that there's um, certain Final Fantasy that I haven't, haven't played. You want to space them apart. Um, Maybe we could give him roller coaster tycoon. Be calm. Be calm. Okay. I am still in the process of passing this game. I played it the other day. The fun is just not there anymore. There is just no fun to be had. I just stare at the... That's the challenge. Waiting to... Like, there's so many times where you'll... I mean, by this point, you get pretty good at being able to pass the, the objective. Because you know a lot of the tricks to um, speed up the process, you know... You, you, it's a whole routine. You start the level, you build this, you build that. Always start with a roller coaster. Blah. Um, but now it's gone to the point where you finish it so quickly that you just. I, I, I sometimes I just leave the game on and walk off until it's finished. Because I, I just. Like, you can build all this extra stuff, but it's just pointless to me. Like, it's just pointless fluff. Okay, it might have been fun at the start to be like, yeah, I can make this real. Really yeah, nah, I, I, I don't care anymore. <laughs> so I found, I found with the early stages. I could have walked off, but I was like, no, I like this game. Fucking, I'm keep building what things. was the one that's five years long? That stage is, needs to be deleted from the game. It's like... That's only five hours, though. That's a long time. Not in game. It, that's like half a session. Five years. 
Well, any of the year, like, they, they actually remove a lot of the um, levels later on, uh, only two or three years, some of them are one year. Okay. Um, and they do something like you have to get the X amount of players, uh, cap, uh, what do you, customers in like one year, and so it's a real race to like try and try and do that. But five years. The stage that's standing out the most in my head is Leafy Lake, I think it's called. Oh, that was a very Huge. early one. Oh, no, no, Evergreen Gardens. Evergreen Gardens. It's, like, gigantic. It's, like, one of the biggest stages in the game. That's, like, one of the very early ones in the first in the first game. Yeah. Even even after all the expansions, it's still, like, the biggest stage. I love that stage. I, I, I played that, like, beyond the completion. Mm -hmm. Like, I just kept building my park just just for the fun of it. I think if you really wanted to do that, you would do it on... You would do it on... You can tell that the makers of the game were really good at the game, though, because there's this one level that stood out to me. I think it's called Three Monkeys. And, um, it's three synchronized roller coasters. One called See No Evil, He No Evil, but. Okay. And, um, they're. Just the way that they designed those three roller coasters together, like the amount of effort, the planning that would have gone into it. I, I've never made a roller coaster that good. I mean, I've gotten good at making roller coasters because you know how when I first talked to you about the game, where you said just make the the pre-mades. Yeah, yeah, the pre-mades. I felt so bad. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's... And then I, then I got good at making the regular ones. It took a bit of effort, but then you get a you get the gist of it, and you have to like learn how to not make them too intense or um, stuff like that. Um, and then after a while, it just became like eh, I can't be bothered. So now I do a kind of a mix. Do you ever save? Um... Roller coasters that you made? Yeah. For future ones? Yeah, especially when I fail the level. So I'm about to fail, save all my roller coasters and then just instantly just rebuild them all over the place again because I can't be bothered. Um, thing. A lot of the stages force you to make your own roller coasters because none of the ones will actually fit. There's levels where you can't destroy the trees. There's one level where you can't change the ground. And there's. Yeah. and all the trees. And the whole stage is completely flat, and you have to make roller coasters. And you, your roller coasters can't be over a certain like, it can't be like three tiers high. So your roller coaster is like. <laughs> it you go underground? Huh? You go no. underground? It's oh. affecting the ground. It, it it was one of the most restrictive stages. You literally could not change anything, and your roller coasters could be could not. But it, you, it, a loop is too high. That's how low to the ground it had to be. So you had to like try and find where the ground naturally dipped, and like have your roller coaster like go off a a, a hill, yeah, and then go around and then come back up. That was all you could do. And even then, your roller coasters were really lame, and they always had to finish with a chain back to the start because they never had enough momentum to actually get back to the start again. Um, oh, I kind of like that idea though, because I used to like starting the roller coasters really high. Instead of having the chain go up at the start. Yeah, the chain is a bit, like, I, old I, hat. The reason I like that is because you never have to worry about a train coming too fast into the uh, platform. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have to worry about the brakes failing beforehand. Yeah. Like you can just make the hill really, really steep before the platform. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of brakes. No. Basically, e even I'll, I'll modify... The what the roller coasters that um, pre-made like come with the stage like you start the stage and it's already there. I'll quickly edit it, extend the end part, put some brakes in, and then connect it back up just so that they don't crash. Especially ones like the um, claustrophobia and agoraphobia on the. Um... Oh, are they the black and white ones? Yeah, yeah. 
That one's crashed constantly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I remember those. Also, there's the, um, I don't know if you had this a lot, but the Wild Mouse roller coasters where they get, they stall a lot. Like, uh, um, a, a car won't get out of the... Are they the, like, crazy amount, like, the tilting ones? Yeah, they're the ones that, like, go around sharp corners. And the Wild Mouse, still Wild Mouse, wooden wild... I think it's called wooden... Crazy, crazy, wooden, crazy... Wooden mouse? mouse? Something like that. Wild Mouse or Crazy Mouse or something like that. They're very compact roller coasters. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that, I was thinking of a different one. Yeah. Then there's the super easy ones to make, because you can't basically... You basically can't fail them. Like the Virginia Reel. The what? Virginia Reel. Must be an expanding one. It's like, um... It's on a rail. Like, um... Well, it's, it's more like a water slide, kind of. You're just going along the... Uh, the path. But they're in like a, a, a teacup kind of shaped thing, so it spins around while it's moving, and it goes around corners, you know, in like a boat kind of thing, the, uh, sort of like a tray almost. The only problem is it causes a huge nausea, nausea rating because it's constantly spinning. Yeah, they came out with a few new roller coasters, but a lot of them are like barely any different to one before it. I always didn't. I never liked the suspended roller coaster. I think it is the one where they're like. Yeah, it's always like this. The, the picture is always like this greenish. Yeah, the great, the great had like green rails. Yeah, yeah. That one is just you can't do barely anything with it and even if you try it, it immediately becomes too intense you can't do intense stuff with it but you can get like you can't if you do very little it will become very intense but if you build it properly those can rake in so much money oh yeah yeah but like but compare compare those to the like the horse one like the oh the um the steeplechase I think so like you can either have the carts as like Horses or bikes, and you can only have one. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid Jays. That one is so shit. It, it's basically the only the only good thing about that is space. If you're very not it, not even because you can only you're very limited on how many people you can have going through at once. Yeah, but like there's some stages where you're basically forced to use it, where you have no op no option. Um, it's a, it's particularly good at getting through trees because it's such a. Um, but you can't, you can't make turns with it though, because if you go yeah, too fast on turns, yeah. like there's no there's no give on. Yeah, I, I, I never build it. If I oh the other one was the, what well, um, the one where they're like in a chair. It's like a, um, it's like a chairlift one. Uh, where it's a single person going through, and they're on like a. Oh, like, like suspended one? chair. Yeah, suspended one. chair. Thing. I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. But it's basically the same thing, single person going. That one that one I don't like either. There's one stage where it's I think there's like three or four of those steeple chase together. That's the whole that's the park. It's like it's like a race race track kind of thing. Okay. Instead of horses. And you have to build around it. Just finishing one where it's um, a castle. Um, There's like a what? Just a pre-made cosmetic yeah, the whole castle. Level, the whole level is like built up to be like a castle with like turrets and everything like that. And this path's going through it. <coughs> and you, there's some pre-made rides in the middle, and you can like build rides in the middle and build rides around the around it. Um, and it just seems to be dragging. The past level, I'm like plus 500 people over the um, the requirement. I'm just waiting for it to end. Even just starting the game to just sit there and wait for the stage to finish, it just sounds so uninspiring. <laughs> just saying, you've done all the hard work, you know, you're reaping the fruits of your labor. Yeah. You don't you don't enjoy being paid for your work and not you, with imaginary you've money. done your work and now all you I've have to do is I've paid off my loan as well that, that's like the second that's like the um 
it's like the added quest of like, all right, I passed the level. Let's see if I can pay off my loan before the yeah. the game finishes. That, that I I go with as far as that. I, I always at least try and do that. Uh, I have sh I have shamefully done the tactic where I have trapped people in my park to pass the level before. Uh, okay. I, <laughs> that was oh, that was a dark moment in in Roller Coaster Tycoon where. I put a no entry sign at the front of the level, so yeah. anyone who came in couldn't get back out, and so it kept my numbers up, and I only passed by like two, two people. That was a real now by the that one, because I had put all my eggs in one basket by saving very close to the end of the level. So if I couldn't work out, I kept re reloading it to try and work out a way to pass this. So I'd lost multiple times already. And I just kept thinking, how can I, how can I extract fifty more people in these last like two minutes? And that's what I did. Do you ever just stick around with the um, visitors and just put them in the ocean or strand them I used on, like to an do island? I, I used to do that. I did that. I, I did that with the angry ones. Like if they get angry that about something. Man, I, 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 didn't, I when I first played the game, I, I was really focused on what the, the customers were thinking. Like, yeah, me too. I, me too. I, I don't know why. I was just like, man, what are they thinking? It just I don't give a read all the thoughts. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a shit anymore. Hey, like the only thing that I care about is I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I need to go to the toilet, and may and then you know the the thing at the bottom. Will X work. looks too intense or something. Do, do you ever pay much attention? To oh that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, but usually you're pretty like. Um, as soon as you build the roller coaster, you quickly check the rating, and if it's under ten, then you're good to go, basically. Um, I, sometimes I'll check for whether or not a, a ride has become uh, unpopular and no one's paying, like, I'm not paying that much to go on Haunted House or whatever. Yeah. Um, well, the, the secret to that is just delete it, rebuild it. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, I, I've gotten to a point where I, um, I'll keep everything at the, you know how you told me the trick about the excitement rating? Uh, for the pricing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that only works if you have zero entry fee. Yeah, yeah, I've always had zero entry fee since you told me about that, because I found that to be much better. I used to try and do both. It's just um, easier to keep track of. Oh, absolutely. And so, um, I was doing that, but then even still sometimes some of the rides, especially space rings for some for some reason, um, they, they always say that it's too much. And so what I've started to do is I'll get to a point in the game where I've got enough money flow, and then I'll change all of my non roller coasters to just ten cents. And you then you get the um, people commenting that such and such is great value. Oh, yeah. And then you get the award for best value park. Oh yeah, and then you, and get, you more get more people, people in for that. Yeah. And plus like it gets less people who are walking around saying, I can't afford that, I can't afford that. I can always afford something. Yeah. So I can extract, you're, you're every, extract last, every, yeah. <laughs> yeah, every last cent out of them before they leave. And all this talk. That's, I'm going to be streaming that sometime. Well, the Curse of Typhoon. Oh, it, it, yeah, it's better you stream than I do because you just look. I'll, I'll just I, I've still got a lot to play through. I only played through like half of the first game, I think. Mm. And that was like years ago. Yes. I, I can't go back and. Once I'm done with this game, I don't think I'll ever play it again. I, it's a, it, don't get me wrong, I would give this game like a 9 out of 10. But. Um, maybe even a 10 out of 10. But better than melee. I mean, it's just a different game entirely. I'd give no, melee a ten no. out of ten as well. No, you can't do that. There's only well, one, there's only nine one out of ten. Nine out of ten. I'd give Dota a ten out of ten. Oh no! So melee's a one nine. Now rollercoaster is an eight. Are you going? Are you going to decimals? Nine point nine. Nah, nah, nah. In a very basic, without going into too much thing, rollercoaster tycoon is one of the best game made games I've played. But whoever made it put a lot of there was a lot of effort involved, a lot of thought, um, just a, a lot of little things that made the game great. Uh, are you keen to stream some Isaac tonight? Yep. Cool. Um, no, I want to manage our time. It's uh, nine, nine o'clock. So did we want to do just like half an hour of doubles practice or? Yeah, I think we can do that then. Then finish off with um thing.
Yeah. Just even all the whole, the amount of thought, like the thoughts that all the um, customers have and how they would have had to program them all, the way that all the, the, the rides work and how they, like even just the roller coasters, how they did all that, like how did they program the roller coasters so it could recognize how intense, how does the game know how intense, like they're, they're really accurate with it as well, like they're, and, like even if you give it a high rating and you don't initially understand, if you just follow the... Um, follow the passion just through. You'll see, you'll eventually see why. So, oh yeah, well yeah, that turns obviously a bit too fast, or that's too sharp, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see the graph showing you as it, as yeah. it increases, and then you get pretty pretty clued onto it. Um, yeah, it's what else is there? There's uh, just the whole like money, controlling your money. Uh, just change like Super Smash Bros. Beans. Beans. Rest in peace, buddy. Does it pop up on the stream? Have you got all that tech? No. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. I've just got Android. Send, send me messages when... when Why I get haven't you already drawn the picture of the, the brain there? I'm not an artist, man. <laughs> I should get... Um, Have we turned it off? No. Um, I should get a harmful opinions um, picture and put that in a bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do I have to get the Google Doc out? Well, that was just two one ones. Have I played Open... Open... Open GTD. Um, it's Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. No, I haven't, I haven't played any other Tycoon game other than Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, I mean, it's a type of game that that I enjoy. I mean, it's very um, rewarding to just sit there and, and watch your... It kind of reminds me of playing the economic part of Age of Empires. Yes, yes. <laughs> you're just sitting there. Economy. Like, you're just sitting there growing your economy just for... Me. <sighs> Oh yeah, throwing throwing them into my up three into your forward smash, that kind of thing. Also, uh, back three. Um, we never got to test it, but I should just have smash. I shouldn't be trying to do anything else because by the time the I'm coverage of it, yeah, yeah, it covers it a lot easier. And what if I can follow that up? Yeah, I was thinking you'd be able to follow that up anyway. Yeah. All right. So I think just spam back through. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. Perfect. That's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. 
Yeah, because they have that kind of combined DI of like my back throw and your forward smash are still like working together in a way to cause them to just kind of stall straight up. Yeah. Is there, is there an end to the game? Um, no, it's kind of like um, Roller Coaster Tycoon without objectives, I think. I, I haven't played it myself. I watched someone stream it like three years ago that I downloaded, but never got around to playing it. Okay. I mean, it looks, it looks really fun. It's like, sick. it's got a feel between Sin City and uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. throws anyway just because of how we naturally would in singles yeah I mean I guess like in that case so if if I was doing an up throw and forward smash then that's up throw and forward smash whereas if I back throw it's back throw forward smash and then my follow up yeah. so it's a lot more damage plus back throw does more damage although if I'm like standing right next to you and you get a grab then yeah I have to up throw yeah. I I missed every single follow up to these to this shit. I should just man. So I'm practicing. Oh, actually, um, Open TTD. That's also multiplayer. Okay. So, um, we could probably work something out if we 
going to stream all of us playing it. And it's not just local player ID, indeed. Set it up over network. If when you follow through Fox at local send, does he fall over? Or do you uh, can he send? It's the same with every character. They stand up, okay. Um the same percent. They stand up. Does that mean he always shines out of it? If you fall through? Uh no, Fox is usually upper roll or spot dodge. Because you don't have to rely on input timing. Yeah. And it it still always beats. Um, the follow-up grab, unless like I do forward throw dash dance to to beat the spot dodge or react to the roll. might be able to do the whole buffer roll Oh, at zero percent. Yeah, yeah. more in stadium than Isaac. Yep. Ah, oh, the bane of our existence. Yeah, I think I think now that we're, you, we're doing back throw forward smash a lot more often, you'll need to pull out your throw. Yeah. So I know if I need to just walk up a bit, because I was uh, I've been at um, had ambiguous spacing around you. I wasn't sure if you were gonna wait for me to run in. I, I guess I, I can do it based on where you start to move. Like if I see you moving away, preparing for it, then I can. Because uh, I think pre I'm pretty much always going to start moving away now that. But we've sorted that out. Yeah. Um, well, I, I still think maybe just call out for now. Uh, if you're ready to this. Yeah.
also we've got the um, edge guard information, like depending on who's running in first. Yeah. Um, I always grab the edge, if I can. Uh, unless you're running in first, then you run off and float. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 
Well, it was fun to see it started just for smashing it back and forth between us. <laughs> and you get like the perfect mix up between each of your forward smashes yeah, yeah, yeah. to ca catch the DI. Because if I get frying pan at like the sense, I can combo it into another forward smash. Or you can just get horizontal frying pans, they work as well. Yeah, that was what I was thinking, like, they DI the tennis racket in towards you, so it just pops them up. Yeah. But they DI the frying pan away, so they come to me. Well, there's actually a horizontal hitbox for the frying pan. It doesn't really send up. Oh. Um, but yeah, okay, that's right. I think I could have got the follow up, but I um, I was confused by all the stuff that happened and didn't see the fox. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get the space, like, make sure I space it properly, but it just really doesn't seem worth it in any situation to board smash. Unless it's a 2v1 and we both got like two stops each or something.
Does it even hit you if I stand all the way at the edge? Uh, what do you mean? If you grab the ledge. See, it goes up in that weird... Oh yeah, the thing is, <clears throat> um, if I hit them early during the back throw, after you back throwing them, um, they're going to uh, travel towards you faster. If I hit them late, then it, they're going to go straight up pretty much.
Yeah, that was that was two plans executed that perfectly back to that the uh your forward smash up for my forward throw or throwing to you. And gem. then I waited for your up till four before I I instead of running into it. Which was the problem with those. The practice is working. That's it, melee done. Do you want to tweet, tweet out on the, um, the brains of that account that we're going to change to a different game? Sure. everywhere. Man, that's some, that's some pretty fast notification happening out there. Okay, rip melee. Social media whores. <laughs> oh, do we do it on Facebook? Do we do it on Discord? Okay. Do you have Instagram? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll let you watch it. I've already seen it before, but I'll watch it again. Because this is going to be a. In a small Drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched the broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. Did you change the details so that it says that we're playing a different game? Yeah, I'll do that then. Heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord. Isaac's mother replied. Roger, into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the boss called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied, as she locked Isaac in his room, away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. Okay. Is this, is this it? I'm ready to play? But I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I ask one more thing of you. get the stream the intro as well. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing the butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through the door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. All right. Get this out of the way. So we've got that. That. Should be good. Settings. Turn that up a little bit. Funny of Isaac. Uh, you can have the, the game chair. Yeah. The throne. Okay. Uh, what, spacebar, I guess? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, file 2. Uh, file 1 is my regular file, file 3 is my cheat file. Okay. Um. Actually, I'll tap for a sec. There we go. You run. Ah, uh, start on hard mode too. There's really no point in playing on normal. Actually, you want to put it on music. Uh, press escape. Um, options. Just put music on one. Oh, maybe you put sound effects on two or three or something. How do I get out of this? Uh, press the stage. Nice. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, I've remapped the um, the shooting arrows to four, five, six, and eight. So. Alright. The blind playthrough begins. No more help. These are literally all the buttons that I have. Uh, you've also got Q, and uh, Q uses um, cards and pills that you pick up. E presses the E uses bomb, and you use the bomb.
I've encountered three different types of headless bodies so far. The red ones, the black ones, and the white ones. I assume the black ones are the, the strongest. Okay, no, that one just come back. I'm not really paying attention. Okay, I'm turning into a pile of... And liver. Liver? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, I'm just gonna move. Good job. This is an item still stay. Cool. No, it's not half a heart. Okay, okay you've, learnt, you've learnt that it's half a heart and not a liver. Am I taking damage from this? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, so it's just temporary. Places I could go. Let's see, I still can't go this is... Oh, so I can beat their stuff with my stuff. Enemies don't come back, which is good to know. Right. Had to just find out for sure. So yellow dog on me an item. I don't know if that's a recurring thing. No, it comes up from that. I'm glad I got this power up before I came in here. I think you take that with your five feet. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Uh, dear diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in some basement. I leave all that I own to my cat Guppy. Now do I have to kill everything here? Oh, it changed. Shooting at this poo doesn't really seem to do anything. If you do want to use that pill, you can press Q. What is that? That happy thing that's jumping around? Uh, that's poo. That's moving poo. As opposed to the stationary poo that you were shooting earlier. Of which this room has quite a bit. Sound effects. Very squelching. Okay. Oh, I've got to turn life, right? <laughs> the optimism. You beat your first boss. He, he wasn't as hard as the other one was. Um. No. I don't know. Oh, okay, they will to turn my bombs into keys, I assume. I thought I had more, than, more bombs than that. 
Okay, you have to be careful when you walk into a room. Got like a pair of pajamas running after me. <laughs> How are my tears so potent? Well, it is just a pair of pajamas, apparently. True. Hmm. Apparently, not that challenging. Oh yeah, we can't see the Twitch chat, eh? Yeah, I'll, I'll get my phone so I can make a shot. Revenge fly. Smart fly. Oh, we're probably attacking a DMT was probably not a smart idea. What's your interpretation of what they're doing? It looks like they're, they'll attack me if I go in. Okay, that was a dumb idea. Oh, my fly's going for them. Oh, I just have to move in, my fly will do the work. Use a bomb to get a bomb. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's like... Yeah. Why isn't my fly attacking this time? Do you remember why it attacked the first time? Um... He's gone crazy, he's doing all the way for me. Uh, well, I'll check what's in here first. Oh, I'm using my coin. Oh, well, I guess there's be nothing else that I've used it on so far. Right. Like a tree game, but have to go find some more money. Oh, well, that would be right, wouldn't it? Well, I guess I don't need any of this stuff anyway. Do you know that? Yeah. I'm not in dire need of more health. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think of putting out the fire. Oh.
achievement unlocked. Uh, do you mind just all tapping for a sec? Yeah, sure. Oh, I can do it. <laughs> I, was, I was just checking to see if we've missed anything important. Oh, Bible the font. Isaac. Alright. Hmm, okay. I'll go... left. Angry spider. Oh boy. Ah, oh, so there's some sort of blockage. Okay. I can't be killed. Oh, my fly can block... block it. Good job. I've never seen that room done so carefully before. <laughs> So when I get hit, he goes on them. So he's a bit of a bodyguard, and uh, I guess where he got the name Revenge Flight from. Okay, so I still didn't have any money because I threw it all on the slot machine. Fair enough. Don't tell me. Oh, fuck, I was going to say. Can we trust you going to the casino in two weeks? <laughs> I need to get health. I didn't realise my health carried over from the previous level. It's almost like it's worth getting hit just so this fly does all the work for me. <laughs> uh, was there a room with a key? I'm gonna go back and check. Oh, you can just check the map in the top right. Oh no, I forgot you. This game does that. Oh god, that's ugly. Okay. Man, that, that orange one is really going for me. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's dead. Ah, fuck, I think that fly blocked it. Oh, money. Ah, thank you. I think those hearts cost one salmon. Oh, I've got two. Ah, uh, right. Donation. <laughs> <laughs> Not feeling charitable? No. How do I know what they're going to do? Actually, how much of that money is actually on, like, admin? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Concentrate. The, um, the enemy looked like my buddy. Hmm. Really, but most people in that play they end up making their own nicknames. I'm sure you'll uh, invent some. Yeah, there's been actually quite a lot of enemies so far. Okay, so this is do you want to take damage just to get items which I don't because I'll die. Let's 
this is where I stopped last time. Oh shit. Don't die to poo. It's a shame I only have half, like one hit left to go. I can't if I went right now. Right, this is where I ran into a freak, so I haven't been here yet. Oh, these are the easy things. Oh, that thing was trying to run away from me. Well, <laughs> yeah, basically got killed by a maggot. All right, so now I'm like undead. Uh, second chance. Let's go. Let's jump. I think I have to kill these little maggot things first. Keep me safe. They're pretty strong. Most of the bet he gets them back. It's definitely faster than the other bosses. No, no, that was really dumb. Good job. Now you got real pajamas. He unlocked Lazarus. Oh my god, I look like a freak at the moment. Mm. Right. I think that's half of the time I, of the game. I assume I come back to life at this point. <laughs> okay, I have a lot more health. Mm -hmm. Always left first. I think I won't go to the door with the spikes and the bottle over it.
Oh, okay, this one takes took a few hits. Man, if you start off from the side and you like move with it, you have like this huge barrage of like. Yeah. Yeah. I need to use a key to get a key. I don't have any keys. <laughs> I like that you start the equation before you like. <laughs> I am squandering my health all over the place at the moment. What? die like this because I'll find out what happens. Rest in peace. Upgraded. Back to testing Isaac. Yeah. Oh, forget about the fires, I just ignore them as if they're not there. Oh no. The guy that does nothing. Okay, let's on that. Alright, and the guy that also kills himself apparently. Piece of paper. I don't feel very ragey right now.
Oh. The hell is the wall? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when they're smiling... Okay. Oh shit, my thing hand is not on the buy buttons. So what are your initial thoughts? Um, it seems like I have not made any progress. <laughs> like I, I died, but then it's like I'm back to the start again. Um, the it seems to be some sort of random generated rooms. Mm -hmm. um, okay.
What do you think about the boss fights? Uh, I, this one's easy. Um, I, well, at least I didn't have much problem with it last time. I feel like the boss fight, you have to, you pretty much have to have a power up to make it, like, not too difficult. I have something attached to my head. I don't know. How do you feel what, about that thing attached to your head? <laughs> I don't know what it's offering. <laughs> um, I'm sure I'll work it out. What did it say when you picked it up? I don't know, it went by very quickly. I lost my power. Yeah, that's the damage. I feel like that was the low end of uh, a randomly generated room. <laughs> Just too easily defeated enemies in a room that's like. You have come across even easier rooms than that. Where there's no enemies. Yeah. Have faith, yes. <laughs> They take a long. No, it's not really possible. I guess you have to just hang on. Now the last time I did this it blew the bomb up from no, let's go show and see what happens. Yeah. Well done. such a confined area for this, these guys. These are hard. These are probably the hardest enemies that I've... Like, they're...
These things only attack you when you get close to them. They did the same thing last time. Okay. Maybe at different angles. Ugh, back to pleb version. Uh, Bryce, you didn't miss Demon Souls. We played uh, melee singles, then we had did, uh, then we did some doubles practice, and we did uh, we just started playing the music. How the hell am I gonna kill these? What's deeply disturbing you about Binding Wells, I guess? If it's all the crying on poop, I'm surprised that you don't think it's just a simulation of daily life. There seems to be some sort of momentum influence here with the tears, like you can move in a direction and it shoots off in that direction. Working out the physics engine. I just cornered myself and somehow managed to escape. Wish grant. Mm. Ugh, these things. The projectiles are fast as well. Uh, of course. made any internal names for enemies yet? Um, like the pajamas? Yeah, there's <laughs> the pajamas. <laughs> I haven't seen many of them though. They, oh my god, I'm dead. I'm just gonna die. There's no way. Oh, what? Everything just died. Oh, maybe the monkey man will do it. May your feature become balanced. Boss fight with one uh, half a star and a grey. No bombs. Poison bombs. And now I'm poisoned, apparently.
Oh, this guy wasn't so hard last time. His arms are like kind of flapping behind him when he's walking. The Naruto running. <laughs> yeah. aren't so bad. They're really slow and they don't really do anything. These are probably the easiest enemies so far. feel about your upgrades this time around? Um, I don't like this one. I prefer what I had before with the, the homing giant orbs. Um, I feel bad for these things. I don't know, they just have to die. Put them out of their misery. They, <laughs> they're, 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 they're similar enemies to in, uh, in Demon Souls where they just run from you, like, or they, they don't attack you, they're just kind of there. And at, at first you kind of like, man, is it ethical to just kill this? And then later on you just like, you just kill them and you don't care. I think if it's killable, it's ethical. The peeper. Why did it... Oh, okay, it's fighting around me. So what is it doing? Okay. 
because some of those flies get angry when you take your poo. Okay, I don't know whether or not that thing that's floating around killed that, or whether I just happened to hit it at the same time. Okay, this is going to be harder to beat this boss because of the way that it, the stage is. It's smaller than normal. Safe with that. Oh my gosh. Ah! Really ran into it that time. I feel like the rate of my attack seems to have dropped. I'm gonna go YOLO just attack. Ah, oh, he landed on top of me. That was close. spray tactic. You're not really aiming, you're just kind of moving and not getting hit. Like I said, these guys are just whatever. Oh, this should make things interesting. I just have no idea what's going on right now. Fuck. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Somehow. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> of your thing. Yeah. Oh, I got too confident that he was going for the uh, the scapegoat instead of me. This is a bit much.
Let's give your pod jams for that movement around the, the moving blades. <laughs> Gonna buy some. Yeah. Good night, Bryce. Sometimes the, the background's so subtle that for some reason I just ignore it, like it's on there. Oh, you mean the rocks the same colour as the floor? Yeah. I didn't destroy all those fires as well because I thought one would be enough. Pretty sure I didn't just come straight into this room. Oh wow, it's like a little tiny one. your opinion of shops so far? Uh, expensive? I can barely afford anything most of the time.
Oh, really okay. a hatred growing for those things. Yeah. So I was surprised when you're not sure what something's about to do. This is the one that explodes, I'm pretty sure. Alright, there wasn't an explosion. completely different spots all the time. I thought they had a, might have a pattern. I see you've joined the, the cult of poop destroyers. Yeah. Well, if they gave me half a heart, I think I pretty much have to do it for the rest of the game. bombs on it, but... <clears throat> then again, I guess if I'm just dying, it doesn't really matter. Oh, shit. I have to wait for the jumps first. Misinterpreted animation. Last time I died because I got greedy and tried to kill him before. Oh, what? Okay, they didn't seem to be. Yeah, just get out of there. <laughs> oh, well, maybe, maybe they wouldn't attack me until I got there. Did you? Right, it looks like I'm getting to the second level of something at the top of the screen, and I have spiders with me. Okay, is it they, they must be friendly. You've, you've got your fetus face back. Yeah. Okay, so they just died pretty quickly. Oh, what? Well, Mm-hmm. 
have no idea what the card does. We well, didn't seem to be doing anything. It just seems safer to just get straight for the boss if I've got the power up already. I think my fly got that. I like how it waits until you've beaten the smoke ball or whatever it is first before the toothpicks, tears and shots up. Okay, this is good. Okay. Oh, it does let you go back out. Okay, do you need to invest the boss again? Alright, I get to keep my power up soon. Uh, oh, yeah, good. Right. Yeah. Okay, probably should go for the splatter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. My revenge fly is. is... Revenging. Yeah. Yeah, alright, let's check it out. Um Door seems safer. Damage and HP. It's very momentum like momentum-y, like if you get rolling then you then you could probably become really powerful, but if you kinda of struggling, like you're just gonna struggle forever. Wow. 
I'm glad I'm visiting the same boss over and over again, because at least I get practice at this attack pattern. Oh good, it's almost worth just getting hit by this guy just so my fly goes on him. Because he's doing damage. Yeah, except... I don't want to take too much damage. Oh, you lucky motherfucker. Oh wow, cool. Is that... My heart is just like thumping, like, oh my, that is gross. <laughs> Now you get a, a throbbing ball section. Oh, pretty powerful right now. Okay, let's go. Alright, I'm up to level 3. I assume it's level, I will call it 2. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright. Hole in the wall. What happened last time when I did that? I can't remember. This guy's hunting himself. Oh boy, time for some new enemies. It's so strong, what the hell? These maggots are stronger than like half the enemies so far. Okay, this is a lot of enemies. <laughs> this purple thing. I would feel better if I had um, some more health. Well, this thing.
Oh shit. <laughs> I need more health, but. Ah oh, shit. You boss. And it's pink. Oh boy. Get him, fly. Oh, he's done that item that I said it blocks. <laughs> he oh, yeah. ran through that eye just as he died. Probably safer to actually explore the rest of this level and find health rather than going to a new level. Considering that half the level's already been done. Oh, what? That's <laughs> bullshit! <laughs> I'm in bye bye, man. Ugh, oh, back to being shit again. Power up good enough. I have no idea what it does. Maybe I should test it on my own first. Potential. 
and you've been keeping your eye on the, the mini map. It's very hard to avoid those ones, they're very fast. Didn't want that, but whatever. Okay, so you've unlocked three items so far. Plus right, law of memory. It will close the program. I had this just yesterday. 